Hello everyone and welcome back to my Pokemon Ultra Move Run Run and I figure I showed this part. I managed to upgrade my Poke Palago. It, now I have the Isle of Fun because I had enough Pokemon in my box. Alright, that's the wrong box. I want it. I want this one. Oh, wrong one. I gotta send some Pokemon out to get some treasures. And I might as well send them out to get some shards. Yeah, they'll be gone for a day, and if I remember, I'll... I'll show, I'll show the treasures if I remember to. And, well, I might as well leave, since I'm recording, and we got a young goose to save. Yeah, the party's healed up and ready to go, so let's get going. Yeah, it'd be over by now, but I got a chance to play the Monster Hunter World Beta. It's incredible. And we're going to get into a Pokemon battle right away. It's H Trainer Yuki. Now, the thing is, I want to play the Monster Hunter World when it comes out. And knowing my love for the game, it'll be a while, but right now I don't have the means to record anything unless. Unless you count using PS4 share. I'm not sure that's the best way to present videos. You know? But as I do that, Yuki's kibble goes down. Ah, oh, it's Marowak. I don't think it's the ground type one, it might be the ghost and fire type. So, this needs to be the time to send Brawn out. Yeah, it is the Ghost and Fire type. And, might as well go with Malicious Moonsault. I hope if I can see it well, the number of rotations Ron does. Okay. Seems like a 720 splash and not a uh, moonsault. I didn't get a perfect look at how many revolutions Ron does before, before landing. But it seems like at least two, so I'm going to call it a 720. Splash. Nah, malicious moonsault. And of course, we get a random battle with Pelipper. Yeah, when I was playing... Regular Sun last time I played a bit of Pokemon playthrough, Pelipper was awesome. That Drizzle ability really helps him out. I mean, boosting his water type attack. Oh, and the Quick Ball did not work. I want to use Lucy. I figure I might as well try and catch Pelipper. Oh, it has a pretty wing. Yeah, what I was trying to say is... Pepper was really good for me in my last play playthrough, and actually had some competitive viability last... Well, in 2017. From what I've seen. Mainly because it's... It was one of the few Drizzle users. It would get boosted water attacks and accurate hurricanes. Well, 100% accurate hurricanes. Mm. It's a female, so I'll go with a netball. 
Hopefully this catches it. It did not. I don't want to lose the that one. Oh, I'm going to use an Ultra Ball. And I think the next leap, see. Ah. Uh, come on. Oh, water Pulse. And that's a Rain Booster Water Pulse. And I get confused. And the rain stops. Oh, well. Looks like I won't be getting Pelipper this episode. Which is sad, really. But, the reason I was in that patch, there's a Hyper Potion here. Ugh. Another random battle. Maybe I get a second chance at Pelipper. Alright, this one's a Drizzle user. Maybe the quick ball will actually work this time. It did not. You know what? I might not actually catch one. I'm just using Leech Sea because I'm trying to conserve these Giga Drains. Alright, Rain Boosted Brian. Yeah, I talk up Pelipper and decides to make it hard for me to catch. And of course, Pelipper is going to call for help. Alright, no one actually showed up for him, so. Well, I got one netball left. I don't want to waste it. Mainly because it didn't work last time. And I actually caught a Pelipper. Alright, number 48 on the Pokedex. Alright, it scoots up Wishy Washy and it's used weak and swallows him whole. It can devour more than 38 at one go. Oh boy. I feel bad for the Wishy Washy. Hmm, I think I'm gonna call it Browse. Please don't ask me to explain that one. And hey, that's the person in a, in a kimono. What a trainer from Unova? Hmm. Who is it? Oh. Well, we got a Pokemon to save. Wait. Uh, let's try Tails. I don't know if it's the kind where, well, we'll always win. Oh. Wait, we get Sharpedo now. That's sweet. Oh, so, yeah. Sharpedo's how we break those block, well, stones in the water. So it's like, uh, sorry, it's like twirls, but for water, you know? Oh, and if you're wondering, Grimsley is an Elite Four trainer from, well, from Unova.
Yeah. We can run real quick with Sharpedo. So I want to try and get through this part as quickly as possible. And swim with Kira. Sending out a Sea King. Hopefully Pikini's got enough to handle it. Oh, it's a level 35 Sea King. Alright, Petunia's going to need some, some boost and special attack sometime. Haven't used her in a while, so that's why her levels are low. And it's Luminion. I'm going to use Leap Seed here. Good thing I didn't. But I think Safeguard is actually for status effects, not for things like Leap Seed. But I'm not 100% sure about that. It's a good thing I did. It's taking me a Giga Drain. And down goes the Luminion. And Petunia's gonna gain a level. Ah, good work. And Swimmer Kira goes down. Alright, nothing over there, so let's ride our Sharpedo. You see, that's what. Whoa! Yeah, it can be difficult to steer as well. I mean, it's going real fast, so it's not going to do pinpoint turns. And there's a tentacle. Hey, you know what? I'm going to try and catch it simply because. If I remember right, I still gotta do that tentacle for Barbosh trade. And naming me a tentacle will at least make it to where I don't have to worry about lo losing a tentacle. Yep, and there's Tentacruel's Pokedex. In <laughs> Now, now we got both. Alright, it's the jellyfish Pokemon. It communicates with feathers of its kind by lining up the red ores on its head. When the ores are blinking, it's a warning sign. One name her arms. Yeah, I seem to be naming my Pokemon at their, at their body parts of the body this episode. And that is locked off. Oh, and there's a swimmer there, so might as well run into him. Well, don't worry. We won't be facing him for too long. Yeah, swimmer Jared. And he sends out his tentacruel. <clears throat> and I don't think Petunia is the best choice for this, so I'm going to send out the magnet. It says it. My magnet has a. Ah, oh, good work. Did that like a champ? I'm going to use Volt Switch. Oh, it's got Barrier. Yeah, that should boost his defense two stages. Oh, Let's see, who should I send now? No, not Noinoi. 
actually, yeah, let's go with Noi Noi. Granted, it's at a higher level than everything else, but it's also not as strong as everything else. I was going to set a second barrier. It's just trying to survive. It won't, but it's trying to. Alright, Noi Noi is now level 44. Alright, Sylveon's now level 42. I think Petunia gained a level during that as well. But I don't think she did. Oh, and there's a swimmer, well, a surfer there. And it's Janice or Dennis? Oh, it's Janice! Sending out Mantine. Again, another water type that's not a good matchup for Petunia. Because Mantine is part flying. No, I don't want. Anyway, I want this one. I want my Magnet out. My Magnet Zone. Let's try Volt Switch. It should be four times effective instead of two times. And down goes Mantine. Or Mantine. Alright, man. Oh, it wants to learn Discharge. Eh, why not? It's stronger than... Stronger than Volt Switch. And should I get into one of those SOS battles? It's pretty strong. It'll hit both of them. And looks like there's a surf spot here as well. Oh, the Surf Association. And there's a team here for acrobatics. So that's nice to have. Oh, wait. There's a sticker there. I just noticed it. Hey. Over to Gyarados? Oh, so there are surf moves that we could learn, I guess. I wouldn't know for sure. And looks like this person got a lot of trophies. And let's get this sticker. Alright, I got 59 stickers. Oh, wait a minute. But there's something over there. No. Alright, I had to double check and make sure. So let's get back on Sharpedo. It should be close to... Hmm. Alright, nothing there. I just wanted to break it. And, well, there's a spot here. Got a couple. Just doing setups. Well, don't worry. We'll take it. We'll take care of these two swimmers. They're just exercising to get ready for a swim. Oh, it's a pair of frillish. Yep, male and female frillish. Alright, so for this one, I want to use you get drain on the male, and I have Sylveon shout about the female. Yeah, they're water ghosts, so shout balls should be effective on them. Oh, that's smart. Water absorb frillish. That way, you're healing one one of your pokes while doing damage to the other, or making sure you don't hurt your partner. Better giga drain that that one frillish. I should be able to do enough to take it down. Mm 
Yeah, which makes me think if I, since I don't have a strong ground type on my team, if I have to deal with, if I gain a double battle with my Manda Zone and, I, and one of my opponents is weak to electric, I should use Petunia because she can resist electric attacks. No, it's because my Pokemon are good. But I like yours. You had some teamwork going. And when we're at, let's get this dive ball. Oh, sweet. So, seeing once we get. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna just be right here. Oh, it's Corsola, Starmie, and Slowpoke. What's wrong? How is it able to stare with just it? So it's unbeaten. So it won't lose until it won't move until it loses. So the slow poke's gonna face it. Alright, so... A Pokemon that knew Tickle. Alright, I don't have any that can do that right now, so... Alright, so I gotta remember this one. A Pokemon that knows Tickle. Yeah, I might have to go to... Go to a Pokemon site just to remember what Pokemon can use Tickle. And I missed this trainer. It, she has Sandshrew. And Petunia. Well, normally Petunia would be a good matchup, but not in this case. Let's send Brawn out because I think Firefang should be able to take care of it. I know it's Ice type. I don't remember if Chantru has Steel Typing as well. Let's go to use Ice Ball. Which is basically roll out for Ice. And take that Chantru. Alright, Petunia getting some experience there. Oh, it's a Wigglytuff. I should probably... Yeah, I'll bring the magnet out. And let's give it a good old flash cannon. There we go. Alright, and finally it's gonna send out Haunter. I'm gonna send out Peter to they're racking it. It could use a little experience. Ooh, it's close to gaining a level, so might be a good thing. So yeah, let's crunch it. Oh, Dark Pulse! There we go. And down goes to Haunter. And Peter gains a level. And Carla goes down. Getting some good Poké Dollars for our efforts. Well, it is nice out. Is there anything else around here? Ooh, there's a kid with a sandy gas. Yeah, let's see. I mean, it's a sandy gas. Sandy. Gast. Yep, we're going to fight Sandy Gast.
Now, can we catch it? Because that's what I'm going to try to do. Crit balls have not worked out for me so far. And as I say that, I actually catch a Pokemon and a Quick Ball. But sometimes you get the breaks. Sometimes things break you. And we do get ourselves a, a Sandy Gas, which is part of the car. If you build sand mounds when you're playing, destroy them before you go home, or they may be may get possessed and become Sandy Gas. I'm gonna call it Palo Sand. Yeah, I'm breaking convention. I'm going to send it to a box. Oh, the kid's probably disappointed. Oh, and we get a Stardust. Yeah, I wonder what would have happened if we didn't... If we didn't catch the Sandy Guest. Well, let's go up here. We're at Route 16. Get a Person Berry. Get a Petra Berry. And a Spear Berry. Oop, don't want to go in there. Doesn't look like there's an iron bear. I think we're supposed to go up that. Huh. Yeah, we're about to go to Ula Ula Meadow for, for the next episode. And I'm not going to go to the right. I'll save that for next episode as well. And, wait a minute. Huh. Okay, uh, Team... Team Skull Grunt. Uh... Yeah, let's do this. I mean, he's being mean to that... Barista there. I think that's what they're called. Oh, the cafe owner. He's going to send out rubbish. I... I don't think Petunia's going to be any good against it, so I need to switch her out. Yeah, it's one of those things where... Normally I would have ended the episode by now, but... I took a bit long because I decided to start from the Poke Palago. So let's Discharge that trubbish and take care of it. And we'll pretend you gained a level. Hmm. And of course, he runs away. Huh. So we're going to get some lumen milk for helping him out. Oh, and we got a couple of trainers here. Oh, so Power of Alchemy, which is for Grimer and Muck. I believe it's their hand ability. And Receiver is for pa Passimian. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, you want information on Garchomp? Well, I might have to explore that cave in the future. Yeah, I, I forgot to travel to the desert. And of course, we got an shop here, but I'll call it into this episode. It's running along. Next episode, we'll look. <clears throat> There's a place to the right. I think that has a particular Pokemon. That. Well, I normally don't like to get, but it's actually good. I believe it's Zygarde, if I remember right. And I also gotta go to Ula Ula Meadow, but until then, I want you to enjoy the day, and I'll catch you next episode.